This video is a production of the College of Arts and Sciences at Eastern Kentucky University and has been made possible through an EPSCoR grant from the National Science Foundation. Everybody loves birds and most people will recognize a robin or a cardinal or other birds around their feeder, but it turns out there's many other species out there that most people aren't really aware that, that they're around. And, and most people don't realize that many of those species are, are declining and some of them are critically imperiled and close to, you know, being endangered or threatened. With red confined to the center. Uh, I'm David Brown. I'm an associate professor in biological sciences at Eastern Kentucky University. I'm primarily interested in the population biology of, of songbirds, and so that means studying the size of the population and the uh, structure of the population and just trying to figure out how many birds are out there and what the factors are that, you know, influence bird populations and maybe cause those populations to decline. Uh, they're, they're also sensitive to changes in the landscape. And so with global warming, with conversion of forest or grassland habitats and uh, more human uh, altered type habitats, you know, because of that, their, their populations in some cases are, are, are declining. So what we do when we're, when we're working in the field is we use mist nets to capture birds and a mist net is a fine meshed net that is strung up uh, in, in a forested or shady kind of habitat. And the birds moving through that habitat won't see the net and they'll fly into it and get entangled. It doesn't hurt the bird, even though it looks fairly stressful to us as observers, but generally it doesn't hurt them uh, or it, at all. And so then after birds are captured in the net, we extract the bird, which is a tricky uh, technique where you have to basically untangle a bird from a net. And then we uh, bring it back to a centralized station where we'll, we'll ban the bird, which means we'll put uh, a metal ring on their leg that has uh, an ID number on it. It's like a serial number, uh, an ID that uh, gives that bird a specific um, identifier so that if we catch it again, we know which individual it was. If somebody else catches it in another location, like during its migration, we know where that bird originally came from. In addition to banding the bird, we take some measurements on it. We measure the body mass and the size of the bird, and then we, we let it go again. So we don't bring it back, in, we don't hold it captive, we don't bring it back for experiments. We just want to get a snapshot of the bird's condition and we want to tag it so we can identify it again later. And that type of basic information, tagging individuals, allows us to understand how long birds live, whether or not they return to the same place between years, uh, and also how likely they are to survive across years. You know, we can study a bird all summer long on its breeding grounds and follow its nest and determine whether or not it was successful in breeding, but then as soon as it leaves, as soon as it departs in migration, it's gone to us. Finding good technicians uh, who have the training and the skills and the responsibility to work independently uh, in rough environments is, is a challenge. And they're, they're not a simple organism to study. They, it takes resources, it takes money, it takes manpower, it takes kind of grueling work out in the field with the, the ticks and the poison ivy. Uh, but you have to get out there and do that basic field work, that basic ecology work, uh, because we know a lot about birds, but there's still much that we, we don't know. You know, we've already solved a lot of the easy problems. You know, we know what the different species are, we know what general habitats they live in, but we don't know the specific factors 
that are associated with the changes in their population sizes. So by kind of understanding the basic biology of, of these birds, we have a better idea of what types of habitat to protect, how to kind of prevent their populations from decreasing further.